Uh, well, welcome Ryan here from the London Craftsman channel. Behind me, you can see some doors which I'm going to be spraying in just a moment. They're a yellow color. Um, but basically, I've only sprayed one face. I'm going to flip them over where it's white and you see the transformation, especially as on the other face, it's got a plank effect. So stay tuned, watch to the end. And I hope you enjoy the video. So these are all the components that I was talking about, and these are all the cream colors, which I had no problems whatsoever. If you have a look here, we're stacking components on components. These are single face components. So it's MDF up against paint, and they are never a problem. So if I move one, you feel they just never stick. Okay, absolutely fine. Um, but it's these ones that you need to worry about. Okay, so if we've got a couple here, these are single face, these ones, but these two, there you go, you get slight suction. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't mark them, if it, doesn't, if it feels like they have stuck, but gotta be aware, okay? Don't leave them too long if you're doing what I do. So we've just got a couple of empty racks here, all single-sided stuff here, single, single, all the backings here, single, 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 and then these ones here again. These are the doubles, so if I put the camera there, you just ever so, so slight suction. So the more weight you put on them, so if this was laid as a stack, for example, then you'd have no chance, as in off the floor flat. This is why we stack them as upright as possible, then they aren't pushing on each other hard. But yeah, once or twice a day I just release them, because at the end of the day we are running out of space here. I'm actually pretty amazed how much we have got in here and yeah and then we've got all of this so this is the only yellow that we've got um interior of both wardrobes are cream and the exterior of one wardrobe is cream only one exterior of one wardrobe is yellow we've got side panels here or we've got feature wall panels here um because we've got a stud wall going up against one of the wardrobes it's a c-shape lots of drawers corner pieces Corner components where the door hits up against in the corner. Yeah, so we've got lots and then trims down here. So this is what we have just sprayed, okay? And you can just see the light reflecting on them. You could just see um, the sheen. And this is eggshell, as you know. Um, so you do get a very slight sheen. But overall, really happy with the finish I'm getting on these components. Um, the undercoat was silk. A trade silk got loads of spraying videos out there out there um and the top coat was dulux trade diamond eggshell right let's just go over those so this is what i'm using it's a yellow in there okay it's the dulux i could just show you another tin trade diamond eggshell and then the undercoat was all of this so everything got coated um, one coat with that, it got taken back into the workshop, sanded with P240, arises and faces, dusted down, bought into here, and then it hasn't been out of here since. I've been spraying probably 30 hours, I'm going to estimate, for all these components. There's a lot of double-sided components that took the time and large area backings and sides. When you've got an alcove unit you're making, for example, all your components are tiny like this. And most of them single sided, so you can spray a whole alcove unit in maybe an hour's worth of spraying in total. But this was all large components. Um, yeah, sides, backings, tops and bottoms, they were all huge. We've gone through about 35 sheets of MDF on this job in total. Um, quite a few sheets where we're spraying. So if you work out the area, there's a huge amount of area to spray three coats. Hi everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to be spraying this bulkhead door and five long doors. Um, we're going for the yellow colour. These doors have got plank effect on them. So let's go ahead and start spraying. This first coat, and it's gone into all those grooves really, really nicely. Now let's get a big door. All right. This is the shorter of the five long doors. 
Turn the pressure up, spraying tails. Quite surprisingly, I'm up to around 2,000 psi now. I try not to spray this high. Getting a few blockages here. Yeah, try not to spray this higher pressure, but sometimes you just need to. Um, I was spraying some other creamy color for this job, and I had my other Graco 595 set up at only 1200 psi. So sometimes it's a bit of an unknown. Um, it all depends on the temperature. Well, a few factors temperature. Have you stirred your paint? Thickness of your paint? Is it old? Is it new? How warm is your paint? How warm is your spray booth? What tips you've got on? Lots of different factors. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like to spray as low as 1200. Because you don't get as much overspray. And you don't use as much paint. So when you're spraying expensive paint like this, which is nearly a hundred pounds for five liters, well, I find that expensive. Um, you just don't want to be wasting it. There we go. Doesn't that look really nice? So when I spray um, dark colors, I find that they take so much longer to cure. Okay, and so if I'm going for a light color, then I know that within, well, by tomorrow, for example, or even sometimes in a few hours, I can easily apply, or shall I say, I can easily turn around the piece on the other face and spray it knowing that it's not going to stick to the racks whereas the darker colors um, yep such as this even though you wouldn't have thought it and nor did I but it's all about the base that they use when they mix up paints you've got a light base a think a medium base and a dark base how they mix it up so that basically the tin is full of paint and all they do is add the color I suppose the pigments this I suppose they class as a darkish color so they use a medium base and I think that's where the problem lies um, I'm not gonna lie it's a pain in the ass as these doors have been drying for a long time, maybe three days. Um, they had two coats, so I do all the top coats on one face first. And then I um, flip it around once it's dry and do the top coats on the front face. Um, yeah, so... But I, what I've noticed is that it's taking a lot longer to dry than a lighter colour, a white or a cream, or in fact the colour that I used just before this, the cream colour. Like I said, that only took, it was a day and I was happy that I could flip it around. It wasn't going to stick to my um, rack protectors, you know, the pipe protectors that are on top of my racks. Um, but yeah, it's a pain in the ass. And the reason, well, it's touch dry and it is dry effectively, but it's not 100% cured. I'm going to say cured because it's dry, but it's just not cured. So you can tell when you touch it, it almost, even though it's dry, 
almost feels rubbery. Like it's got suction. Now I'm putting on pretty heavy and I am under time restraints on this job because we are fitting this job tomorrow, believe it or not. But it's a huge job, it's part of two wardrobes and there is no particular rush, particular rush to get these doors done because they could be hung, for example, on the last day of the seven days or eight days that we're fitting. So I know I've got time. Um, and I'm quite lucky as well that only uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten components and three trims. Ten big components and three trims are only yellow, otherwise that would have really messed me up in the rack. When I sprayed all the cream behind me, hopefully I can show you that a bit later. But behind me, I've got stacks and stacks of it all up against each other, even paint to paint. And usually wouldn't do that at all. Not in a million years with this eggshell. Um, every day you just got to break them apart. Not break them apart, but just make sure that they've moved. Or you just, if you've got a stack of 20 up against the wall, you just pull them apart, lay them back down, and they're good for another day without marking them. But if I had to do that with a yellow, There'd have been no chance. You would have just had one whole block of components. Um, so I'm not a fan of dark colours. And I suppose the, reason, the, thing, the thing I'm getting at is I didn't think this was classed as a dark colour when it came to drying. Other than that, I don't really have any problems when I spray eggshells and silks. Not at all. There we go, that was the last piece. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, just to let you know, we're using the... I don't know what I said earlier. I think we're using the 695 on this job, not a 595. Uh, 310 tip. Um, let's have a look. It's actually a 410, so it's an 8-inch fan, double the 4. Um, 10 is perfect orifice hole to let the paint out so it's a 410 getting through wide panels quicker and yeah we've got the paint set up to 2000 psi got our fans on medium speed speed two of them two 400 mil radius fans with filters in them yeah happy days so there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed hope you enjoyed seeing the transformation that was pretty awesome what i'm going to try and do is get a video out like this Whenever I change a color, the top view, I quite like the top view myself, how it just transforms. I like watching my own videos back, seeing the way the color just transforms that component. And we're always doing different colors, blues, greens, reds, all kinds of colors. Keep your eyes peeled on our channel. Remember, if you haven't hit that bell button, um, once you've subscribed, then you won't get a notification when we do put videos up. So make sure that you hit that bell button when you subscribe, and then you'll always see once we um, upload something. So, hope you enjoy, guys. Have a great Sunday. See you next Sunday. Ciao.